Hey, what's up? This is Iris from Bloomsday, and this is Questions on the Red Couch. Which tattoo is your favorite and why? Okay, well, I actually have a lot of those, so. Um, my favorite one is actually this cowboy here. Um, people always ask me, like, who he is. He's just a cowboy. Um, I really like just getting tattoos for, like, no real reason, because... I like the spontaneity of it, um, but I've got I've got a bunch. I feel like I'm between the cowboy, and then I also have baby tattooed on me. So if anyone wants to know the truth about me, it's always there. Who's an artist you'd like to work with? Probably Adrian Lanker. What's your go-to comfort movie book? My first thought was uh, The Notebook. I'm gonna just own that. Um, the movie, Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams. I mean, the chemistry is unbelievable. You recently went on tour. What did you learn about yourself? That I can drive for nine hours straight and also can hold my pee for nine hours straight. <laughs> What's your favorite form of artistic expression beyond music? Honestly, <laughs> it's like designing my apartment. I think, which sounds lame, because my first thought was karaoke, but that, that wouldn't count. So, yeah, I guess, like, furniture. I really like architecture, even though I'm, like, definitely nowhere near being an architect. How important is a good dollar slice being from NYC, and why did you make the lead single that song name? So I had COVID when I wrote that song, and I was like really feverish. And that is what I like chalk up that lyric coming out to. Cause I don't know, I didn't like think of it before. It just like, I was playing for a while and like it kind of just like came out. I saw God buying a dollar slice. And then that just got me really thinking about how, I don't know, it was like, what if God was one of us, like that song. But it's also like, it's so New York. Like dollar slice, I mean, it doesn't exist anymore, which is messed up, but um, just like a dollar slice being something that like, you know, everyone can have and everyone in New York does have and just like what comes with being from a place like this and like the kind of emotions that come up with it. I just thought it was sort of like a really, I like my ode to New York in a way and I don't know, I was really into it. That's that song and I love singing that song and performing that song. So I was like, we got to make that the lead single You just released your album heart of the artichoke. How are you feeling? Feeling good feeling good Feeling good What's one life lesson being in a band teaches you? I mean especially touring with people like spending an insane amount of time in the car together you learn about, you know, how you, how adaptable you can or can't be, and like, what it's like for other people to kind of exist. Yeah, because, you know, you're sort of like a family unit, like you end up being like a pack, and like that's your home base. Um, I think it teaches you about like what your role might be in the, in that dynamic, and also definitely teaches you about like being considerate of others when you're all on like a really long drive and you know I don't know understanding your needs I'm rambling but that's what I learned and that's the last one <laughs>